Galus ifete, and thanks for watching this special dose of Your Greek News. As many of you have probably been following on your local news stations, our Patrida has been hit with one of the largest and deadliest forest fires in the last decade. According to reports, at least 63 people have died, including 59 in the Peloponnesus region alone, and officials say that fires are burning in more than half the country. I'm sure most of you have seen videos and images on the news or online, but for those who haven't, these satellite images you're about to see give you a really good sense of how widespread and devastating these fires have really been. On the 22nd of August, the fire was mostly centralized. The next day it spread into other areas in Peloponnesos. By the 24th, Peloponnesos is covered in smoke and you can see the fires starting up in Sterea, Lada and Evia. It really is chilling when you see how much of the country is covered in smoke. More and more burning regions pop up over the next few days, and by the 27th, there are over a dozen locations covered in smoke and fire. It's no wonder that anger has been mounting with residents who have been appealing in desperation for help on television or marching in the streets of Athens over the government's insufficient efforts. There are a few different theories that have been thrown around trying to explain the reasons behind the fire. Some believe it's political, others believe it's terrorism. In the past, Land developers have been blamed for fires such as these, allegedly using blazes to work around laws that ban construction on forest land. And although Prime Minister Kosos Karamali says it's no coincidence that this many fires have started up at the same time, and that it's highly likely due to arson, officials from the Pan-Hellenic Union of Forestry Experts and the World Wildlife Federation say that most of the areas that were affected aren't prime targets for construction and are mountain areas where the land isn't considered valuable. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? On a positive note, seven people have been charged with arson and another 26 people have been charged with lesser offenses linked to fires in Greece since July. However, no names or explanations have been released. And there's still a reward of up to $1.64 million being offered by the government to help catch other arsonists? The Greek government says it has budgeted more than $274 million for immediate aid to families, businesses and communities, and countries like France and Italy have thankfully been sending lots of aid during this disaster. You know, I can't help but wonder why this is happening. Reading through news sites, speaking to different people, you have to ask yourself, why are these fires happening now? Is it because elections are coming around next month and the government is in a I don't know, state of instability? Or is it simply a good time to spread forest fires because of how hot and dry it is this time of the year? And although I believe in keeping racial profiling to a minimum and understand why no one is identifying the race of these arsonists or whether the alleged land developers are Greek or foreign corporations, it's seriously frustrating for a lot of us Greeks not knowing what the heck is going on and who's to blame if there even is someone to blame. In the meantime, if you want to help, international organizations like the Hellenic Red Cross are taking donations which you can contact directly at redcross.gr. Our thoughts are with the families who are suffering through this ordeal. It truly is a tragic time for all Greeks. Thanks for watching the special report. Feel free to continue this discussion in the comments section at yourgreeknews.com. I'm Anastasia, bringing you this special dose of Your Greek News.